welcome to this new installment of the eAcademy videos. Today we begin a series focused on the latest product of our company, the VersaPlus control panel. We will show you what is included in the kit you have bought and how to assemble and start it. The VersaPlus kit includes OPU 4PS dedicated enclosure, piezoelectric transducer with quick mount holder, Quick mount holder for ACU270 or Versa MCU module. Two tamper switches. GSM antenna complete with quick mount holder. Space washers and enclosure cover plugs. Set of wiring, standoffs and mounting screws. And of course the Versa Plus mainboard. You will also find a CD with software and manuals, as well as end-of-line resistors included in the set. In addition to the set in question, you will need a computer running Windows operating system, the latest version of DLoadX program, which you can download free of charge from our website, and a mini USB cable. And now a few words about the VersaPlus mainboard. It has the following integrated components. Switching power supply with 2 amp output current. PSTN dialer. GSM module with dual SIM card support. Ethernet module. As well as the voice alarm verification module. Additionally, you will find on the main board 5 outputs including 2 high current and 2 low current outputs and 1 relay output four wired zones, built-in USB HID socket, and plug-in terminal blocks. Okay, and now let's start mounting these components in the enclosure. Firstly, you should mount the piezoelectric transducer together with the included holder and two tamper switches. One of them will provide protection against opening the enclosure and the other will trigger an alarm at any attempt to detach the enclosure from the wall. Attach the holder for additional modules. Then mount the control panel mainboard on the appropriately spaced standoffs. Plug in the terminal blocks of the piezoelectric transducer and tamper switches to the mainboard and fit the antenna onto one of the two dedicated holders. For further details regarding the installation of individual devices, please refer to the manual included in the delivery set. This completes the installation of the components making up the kit you have bought. To start the Versa Plus control panel, you will need two more devices that are not included in the kit. These are the TR40VA transformer and, as an emergency power supply, the 7 amp hour battery. Using the set of wires included in the kit, connect the transformer and put it into the enclosure. And then do the same with the battery. Please beware, the enclosure must be secured to the wall with screws before installing both devices inside the enclosure, otherwise the mounting holes will be inaccessible. The next thing is to start our set. To do this, a keypad, which is not included in the kit, must be connected to the control panel. You can choose from among as many as 8 keypads, including LCD or LED keypads, as well as touchscreen models. Let us use the INT TSG touchscreen keypad. This version, 1.03, has been made compatible with the Versa series control panels. It is advisable to start the control panel for the first time in the service mode. To do this, place a jumper on the pins marked JP1. Then connect the transformer and the control panel to the power cables. Now you can turn on the power. The control panel starts. 
which is indicated by blinking LEDs and messages displayed on the keypad. Remove the jumper from pins JP1, which puts the panel into service mode. Very important information. Activation of the service mode also activates the USB communication. Let us now proceed to the configuration on the computer. Let us run the latest version of the D-Load X program. Connect the control panel to the computer via the mini USB cable. The panel reports to the program with a USB connection message. To confirm your intention to establish a connection, select Yes. The connection will be established automatically because the control panel reports as an HID device. So there is no need to use additional converters or drivers. Now in the Deload X program, a message appears in the welcome window of the new system, which you must confirm using the OK button. A blue progress bar at the top of the program will indicate that data is being loaded from the control panel. Now, identification of the devices connected to the control panel must be conducted. To do so, open the Structure tab, and then the Hardware tab, select Expansion Modules, and then click the Identification button. After identification has concluded and the data has been read from the control panel, you can view the current status of the system. This step completes the procedure to start up your set. In this installment, we only showed you installation and startup of the Versa Plus set. In the following installments, we will show you how to expand the Versa Plus control panel by creating wired, wireless and hybrid systems based on it. We will explain how to configure individual modules on the control panel mainboard and how to fully use the potential which lies dormant in this device in the form of an impressive set of features and functionalities. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installments of the Academy. See you soon.